Tak co to znamená, že tam je napsáno best price? To vlastně nejlepší cena, že? Vůči čemu? Vůči jakoby cena u nás v, jakoby v centru, a celkově jakoby v obchodních řetězcích. A nevím, já jsem přesně jako nekontroloval, nevím, yes. jestli to fakt vychází, ale... Já jsem to právě teď kontroloval a nevychází to. Nevychází to. Mm-hmm. Aha. Does it actually make sense to buy stuff at duty-free shops at airports? Let's find out. First you gotta find an airport. Check. We're the honest guys from Prague, and today we took a trip to the Prague airport. Now we're not going to fly anywhere, but actually to get here we did have to buy a ticket, but we're here for a different reason, and that is duty-free shops. Now duty-free shops can be found at different border crossings, at ports, on cruise ships, and obviously at airports. Uh, there's many around here, and they sort of lure you in for lower prices, because guess what? You don't need to pay tax on certain goods. In case of alcohol, the tax is quite high, so if you don't have to pay it, the goods is much cheaper, right? Now, just to clarify here, since we are at an airport where you can fly to both EU and non-EU countries, the airport shops have two prices. One is the price with tax if you're flying within the EU, and the other one is the price without the tax if you're flying outside of the EU. And that's the one we'll be interested in, because that should be the best price. Well, that's the theory. Let's look at what it's like in real life. A gentleman here just bought the Czech Slivovic, uh, and the price duty free is 369. A normal price is 259. The typical Czech liquor costs 259 duty free without tax. With tax, it's 229. How does that work? <laughs> Well, let me tell you how that works. You're comparing something that is incomparable. Different stores, different discounts, vendors, sales, and so on. Like in this case of this bottle, the price we are comparing it to is a store at the airport, but they just had the bottle on sale. But, and it is a big but, we're comparing it to a store that is outside of the transit area. Therefore, they have to pay taxes, and yet they are still cheaper. Now let's compare something that is neither on sale at the duty-free shop or at a normal store, therefore it is more comparable. This bottle costs 23 euros without tax at the duty-free shop, and they're claiming it to be the best price. Well, here is a store downtown Prague with tax 19 euros. The duty-free stores are playing a game as if their prices are something unique. They are not. If you want, you can buy the goods cheaper somewhere else. Now there's actually one more bizarre or rather an interesting fact about their price tax that I've only noticed here in the editing room. Let's have a look at this gin because that's when I started to calculate how the price tax with tax and without actually work. Because they don't. If you take the price of 959 crowns and you subtract the excise tax and VAT, you get to, or I got to, 720. But the duty-free shop tells me that it should be 8.99. That just doesn't add up. Believe it or not, this is not my first visit to the airport and this is not my first rodeo. I am aware of the fact that prices are higher at the airports. But these prices are so much higher that even if you cut the tax, that is pretty strong on alcohol, they're still more expensive than a regular store. Do you think that the people at the airport that run the stores have any idea what the prices are every place else in the world? Or do you think they just feel they have their own little country out there and they can charge anything they want? We're having a discussion about the prices at the airport here and I'm saying, how much do you think the box of salad is? And Honza said, I don't know how much is the box full of salad, but just the box is a euro. <laughs> And that being said, not everything at the airport is expensive. I mean, there's a store just past that wall that is a regular supermarket that sells goods at normal prices where you can even buy the liquor that they sell in the duty-free shops for cheaper with tax. We're still at the airport in the public area in a normal supermarket. And the shock is not when you go to the airport and the stuff is expensive. Rather, when you come back here to the normal world, suddenly the stuff seems like it's free. Suddenly, a bottle of Coke is not four euros, but a euro. A piece of bread is not euro 20, but 20 cents, and so on. It's like paradise, I'm a millionaire here. But 
you cannot bring anything that's over 100 milliliters to the airport through the security check behind me. So if you wanna buy something that is in a bottle and is liquid over 100 milliliters, you're sort of forced to use these stores. And yes, maybe uh, using the term you're being forced upon something may be too harsh uh, because you're not really, you can just walk through, right? Uh, not the case at Terminal 1 at this airport, where as you go through the passport control, you appear inside a store. From my perspective, that is disgusting. Nobody should force you to walk inside a store. Please, let's not make this a standard. Now we're judging the airport, uh, even despite the fact that it's changing slightly right now. There's new stores opening and closing and changing. And right now, next to this kid's playground, uh, very soon there will be a Bottega Prosecco bar. Well, don't worry, there's another kid's playground. Uh, and right next to it, they will open a new smoking Icos lounge. Tak, děti, hrajte si. Za chvilku vám tady budou smrdět prdy z Icosu. We're at the baggage carousels, where you pick up your luggages and you exit to the free world outside of the airport. But even here is a little duty-free shop that says, this is your last chance for the best prices. Nope, this is the last chance to pay more than you should. After this point, the world turns into a normal place. Actually, this last shop is not even duty-free. They are just straight up lying to you here. So the answer to the question from the beginning of the video, does it actually make sense to buy stuff at duty-free shops at airports? It does not. But you don't have much choice. <laughs> now from this video, from the perspective we choose, the airport may seem like a mess. But suddenly, at a different angle, all is clear and beautiful, just like this piece of art. But our job is not to have only one angle. We try to show you all the different angles. And once you do so, you see things that are not as nice. Oh, and trust me, we've seen much worse than just expensive, overpriced booths at the duty-free shops here at the airport. But on that, in the future episodes. And in the end, I'm going to teach you a word related to the topic that we were filming about. And that is how to say hollow in Czech. Why hollow? Well, because in Czech it's duty, spelled duty. Duty is hollow.